Hey guys, King Draken here. I know a lot of you have been wondering uh, what's the deal with the software, so I'm just going to give you guys a quick a quick intro on the progress uh, that I'm making with it. Uh, now, I do have a couple more features that I need to implement, as I mentioned on Facebook, um, and one is the Epic Duel Chance Calculator that will be accessible through this icon you see here. Uh, the other is a download feature that I want uh, to be able to download pictures on Facebook, you know, and elsewhere. Um, because a lot of times I'm, you know, surf on the internet and uh, come across some interesting pictures that I want to save, and it just takes too long to save it. Uh, so I'm gonna add that here. What is this? You want to change the color scheme? Why? slow performance ah probably because I'm recording um, let's see just go to color scheme don't show this message again all right let's check this here everything looks good anyway what I was saying <clears throat> yeah a lot of times I'm stretched surfing from the internet and uh, see some pictures I want want to download it but it takes too much time to be right clicking and saving and all that stuff so I'll just click download here it'll download it automatically so I'm gonna try to work that in I did make something like that a few years ago um, but I'm gonna try to work that in for this software um, but it's mainly for Facebook pictures anyway <clears throat> uh, let's see um, I'm gonna head on to epic duel real quick since it's power hour um, just to play a little bit but I uh, figure I'd give you guys a quick tour um, this is the command center, I guess you could say. All of these commands here will uh, be accessible through the address bar here. So if you type uh, slash commands, it'll um, display all the commands, which is this box here. So if I exit that and I type slash command up here, press enter, it'll display this box. Um, the xall mods, uh, that's an interesting one. Um, it closes all of the mods, X all mods, closes everything, including the address bar. Now, that can easily be done with this icon here as well, okay? So, if you click that, it'll go away. If you click that, all of them will come back, okay? Um, let's see, uh, let's just head on into Epic Duel real quick while we do this. Another neat feature that I implemented is the point system, and I'm still working on this. It's uh, very important. I'm actually going to um, uh, do something very big with this. Uh, you guys will learn more about it pretty soon on Facebook. Um, but as you use the program, you'll be able, you'll be seeing this icon popping up every now and then. And if you click that, you'll get a certain amount of points. Just now, I got five in the next. Uh, the next time you see that icon, it'll be worth 10 points. Uh, so every time you see that icon, you're going to want to go ahead and click it. Let's exit everything there. I'm going to get another one point uh, for visiting the Epic Duel uh, website. And that's another neat thing about it is that just by using the program, you'll be able to earn points. So if you go to websites, you know, uh, you'll be able to earn whether it's one, five, or ten points, or whatever, I may end up changing changing those numbers later on. So uh, don't take my word for it right now, um, because the software is still in development. Anyway, let me uh, log on real quick. And of course, I'm gonna blur this out <coughs> for obvious reasons. Um, then we're gonna just gonna wait for the next uh, drop, and we'll see. And it shows up in random areas, so you're gonna want to be looking out for that. Um, I will implement a way for you to turn off that feature, uh, as you see, it just popped up there. But for example, while you're playing a game, it may pop up over the game, and you know you might want to click it and then accidentally click something you don't want to click. So I'm gonna allow you guys to be able to turn off this feature whenever you don't want it on. So I'll click it there, and if I go to the uh, commands here, PTS brings up the point screen. You'll see the um, amount just increased. I believe it was by 10. Yeah, it went from 6 to 16. So the next one will be worth 15 points. Anyway, let's go do some stuff in Epic Duel. Uh, let's see, I'm a mercenary now, by the way. Uh, just recently changed. 
I'm going to be running this build. I'm not really in a rush to reach level 40, um, you know, because I'm not really that active anyway, so uh, I've been busy. So I'm just going to enter a few battles. Um, some of the basic features uh, that I've had in this, you know, software as it's been evolving in the previous software, I had the uh, screen capture, and that's in this as well, as you saw in the modules earlier. Let's see here. I'm going to pop a shield. <laughs> uh, but with the screen capture, you simply click this button here um, to take a screenshot, and I'll show you what that looks like with the magic of editing. Anyway, uh, let's see, he's got some pretty good pretty good uh, stuff right there, so let's hit him with that. Force him to use his energy. Oh yes. Well, well, well. Let's just go ahead and take that from him. <coughs> And he should try to take it back. Ah, so he's got that. Hmm. Well, I'll just use this for now. <coughs> to can play it that way. Ah, critical, critical, critical. Let's see. Auxiliary. That should be decent. Oh, that is terrible. That is terrible. Hmm. And my shield ran out. <coughs> and his should be going away. There we go. Time to hit him upside his head. Let's use. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, let's use the sidearm. I don't want to get blocked. There we go. Now we're talking. And I should be raging first. Yeah, and once I rage, he's pretty much done for. Um, let's see. Yeah, he should be done for. Bang, bang. Shoot him up, shoot him up. Anyway, um, oh, there we go. That's what I like to see. I'm using boosters, by the way, as you can clearly see. Um, yeah, I've got a few left. So uh, this feature right here, uh, the sound icon or the speaker icon, I'm going to eventually take that out. Uh, I did have a plan for it, but I wasn't able to you know, sort out the programming aspect of it. So I'm going to eventually take that out. Um, the light bulb you see here it basically brings up the command. So um, if you decide you don't want to have the address bar showing, you can go to toggle modules and address bar get rid of that so you have more room for your gaming and then you have access to all this other stuff here okay um, <clears throat> if you don't want the toolbar there you can simply get rid of it you know so you have more room especially if you're playing tanky um, but let's get it back real quick actually I want to see the points so let's uh, Go to here. So when I click this, I should get 15 points. We're going to go up to what's that? Uh, 33? 32? My math is off. 32. <clears throat> there we go. So 32 points, and let's go. When you click home, you're going to be going to my blog, and uh, you get 10 points actually for going anywhere on my blog. So 10 points each time you load a page on the blog. Um, one point for any other page or any website really and I believe it was three points two or three points for any game that is uh, in the game selection here <coughs> let's see oh, already been added anyway that's pretty much it that I'm gonna be sharing for now ah for tanky fans go to game tanky online servers and simply select a server and it will take you right there <laughs> so yeah it saves a whole lot of time instead of going to the uh, tanky website and then selecting the server from there basically select a random server between 1 and 10, 11 and 20, and 21 and 30 
Um, all these other links do work. It takes you to the Tankey Online Forum, or YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Um, Congregate is a really good site um, for gaming, but uh, certain games on their website hasn't been working in the program, but some have, so um, I'm going to see what I can do with that. Uh, Miniclip is also a nice place, so I'll put that in there. And of course, these are all my contact information. Anyway, let's get into Tanky real quick. <clears throat> and as you saw, the points went up by one, so we can close that out. And uh, like I said, like I mentioned before, um, I will be posting more information about the program on Facebook, um, and some of it will be posted on Twitter as well. So if you're interested in it, then I recommend that you follow those two pages. Uh, my Facebook page will be linked in the description, uh, the Twitter page as well, so uh, be sure to check those out. So anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and play some tanky here and, um, you know, get back to coding later. You know? So hope you enjoy this little sneak preview, and uh, I'll get back to you real soon. This is King Draken. Sign it out.